Hello everyone and welcome back to Authentic Mental Health and welcome to my new playlist, My Mental Health Experiences. In this playlist I'm going to be telling you my experiences with mental health. So today, to start off my first video in this playlist, I want to tell you about something that happened to me roughly around five months ago. I had an interview, a job interview, with one of the biggest engineering firms in the United Kingdom. So, my interview was at 12 o'clock, and obviously you should know by now that I suffer from anxiety. So the night before, I really couldn't sleep. I was sweating, I felt sick. I wasn't actually sick, I just felt sick. And I had a really bad night, and you know when you just lay in bed and you just wish time would stand still so you didn't have to wake up the next morning. That's exactly how I felt. So anyway, the next morning came quicker than I hoped for and it was job interview day. So I get to the job interview and I go to the reception. I said, hello, my name's Charlie. I'm here for a job interview, blah, blah, blah. And she sent me upstairs into a waiting room. Anyway, after about 10 minutes and me there contemplating whether I should run off or just stay and hack it or, or try and hack it, the man comes out who's interviewing me. So I get into the room, he asks me if I want a drink. So I said, um, yes please, I'll have a cup of tea, blah blah blah. So there were two people interviewing me. So while the main person went off to go and make me a cup of tea, I was talking to his colleague about my references, previous work experience in engineering, etc. So the bloke comes back with a cup of tea and I have um, an A4 folder full of sheets of paper highlighting jobs that I've done before, photos of jobs that I've worked on and things like that. So he puts the tea down in front of me, the cup, the cup of tea, and I get, I, I took a briefcase in with me. So I get the briefcase on the table I open the briefcase and I get my folder out. So as we're talking, I actually open my folder and I'm flicking through the pieces of paper. And I found a piece of paper that I wanted to show them. So I started to take out the piece of paper that I wanted to show them. And because I was so worked up and I was really anxious at this point, I opened the folder and got out the piece of paper and I smacked the tea and it went everywhere. It went all over the table and <laughs> it went on the person's suit. And I, I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. And he was like, okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. But really I, I knew in his head, he just wanted to absolutely laugh. So what happened was, is I said, I, I'm really sorry. Can I just pop to the, to the toilet please? And, and just, you know, get ready again and can we please start again? He said, yeah, sure, that's fine. So I took my briefcase with me to the toilet and I didn't actually go to the toilet. I ran out of the building, I went into my car and I just drove off. I, I had um, a panic attack. I, 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 after that happened, I, I wasn't feeling good before with my anxiety, but after I had spilt the cup of tea all over this, this perfectly nice gentleman, I just, I, I froze, I didn't freeze, but I, I knew I just couldn't carry on with the interview because I was just picturing in the head they were just laughing at me and as soon as I left they probably were laughing at me anyway and I'll probably always be remembered as the, the, the tea spiller boy in the interview.